I would too. I would just woman up and be like, yo, I'm not happy here. Hold on, give me one sec, dude. Let me. I want to see. Yeah, can you change those letters to S A B C D? I don't know what the fuck they talk about. Yeah, <laughs> let me. I don't know what that was. I'm trying to look at these layouts real quick, too. Fuck, I don't want that. I mean, there before we, we even start, like, let's just talk about Tyler Perry as a person. I I would say I was exposed to Tyler Perry. Uh, I, I watched his plays. I think the same way a lot of people did. You know, one day I uh, just came home. Um, my dad had some bootleg DVDs from the barbershop, right? Hey, Ooh, well, we we already there. know that's a throwback all by yourself. Saw them outside the grocery store. Man, shout out the barbershops in the two thousands, man. Well, just shout out to the to the DVD man. My dad also had a DVD man who he made us CDs and DVDs, and it was like every week. Like when the new stuff came out in the stores, he would already have it in the bootleg. Ooh, yeah, he was. Yeah. Dope. He I'm not was gonna lie, cause we had cause a, some uh, of this, we had a. Be- oh, go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say some of the people from the barbershop or even at like the Seven Elevens. A lot of their bootlegs, some of them be like real good, like as if they put that HD version of the movie on DVD. But yeah. others, you can you can tell it's it's raunchy. It's like his was like that. <laughs> his was like the real the real DVD, but just like on a bootleg. But it was like the real. We had a movies. we had a DVD guy. He would he was connected like in Hollywood, so he would get like the first press DVD before it even come out. Wow! He'll have like the yes. menu. like you know back in the day you start the DVD and got the menu before it actually uh-huh. plays. Yeah, it had that on there. That's, so how, that was, that's yeah. how this guy's was. He his was, yeah. his was like that. That's like top notch bootleg quality, right? But then and then top some notch. of them, some of them was just so bootleg that as soon as you put it in, it just play, or they don't have no menu. They just it just says play. I or you know, see shadow figures walk by the screen. Woo, I, babies crying. We were a bougie family, and we didn't watch. No, if if my dad would put in a bootleg and it looked like that, he would be like, "We're not watching this." We didn't watch. <laughs> no, we didn't bougie watch ghetto. No, no ghetto stuff. We didn't. The only time I was exposed to stuff like that is when I would like go to my cousin's houses, and I remember. Oh my goodness, I'll never forget this. It was this bootleg of Freddy versus Jason. That everybody okay. saw because at the end of it, this man in the audience was like, "Now that's what I'm talking about." And then, like, <laughs> whatever, whatever somebody would bring it up. Did you ever see Freddy versus Jason? This somebody will always tell a story about. I seen it on bootleg, and at the end, this man. And then we were like, I had the same bootleg. Everybody in our whole city had the same Freddy. <laughs> now, that's Jason. what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> everybody had it everybody had it or seen it man you know what uh, I wish they would have had a bootleg of uh, uh, what was that like you got served and like everybody and their mama and cause when I went to the theater to see it we was going crazy that was a good time in life <sighs> yeah. when okay. ATL hit movie theaters that was a good oh time man too. ATL Hustle and flow. Yeah. Uh, Fast and Furious three, Tokyo Drift. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Yeah, those was the time we was living in the good old days and didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> yep, but I saw my first Medea play. Oh man, look, would you do the play over a movie? Um, I mean, I'm not a fan of of theatrical. I think the acting in like the theatrical sense it's just too over the top for me. So I'm not yeah. a theater girl anymore. I prefer the subtleties of 
TV and film these days. Mm. But I mean, we talking twenty years ago now. When I see my parents, uh, Tyler Perry stage, yeah, that for when them Tyler Perry bootlegs was coming to the hood. Yeah. yeah, five dollars, man. Yep, and then when they when they got official, they was up in the uh stores for like five ten dollars. Yeah, but the plays they would put all the plays on one DVD. Yeah, one DVD. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And honestly, I like the plays. Hours of material. Yeah, I like the plays because, like, kind of like you, I was exposed to it, and it was just super funny. At the time, E, what up, bro? Oh, what's up, man? Uh, it was funny. It was super funny at the time, and um, you know, it was just introduced to it introduced you to like, you know, kind of like never before seen material. Like, you got black people doing a stage play, and you know, it was nice mm. being recorded on DVD and everything. Yeah. yeah, I remember them being funny, and I remember them being a fad. Like, I remember it being, like, a popular thing to watch. And the yep. mm-hmm. I remember yep. when Cora lost all that, that weight. Mm-hmm. And I remember finding out that Brown was a, actually a young person. Like, he was actually young. Right. And then I didn't even know that they were married in real life until oh, yeah, like finding out they was married. Yeah, I didn't even know until like later. Finding out that Cora was now behold the lamb, the precious lamb of God. <laughs> <laughs> it's on, it's on that out, then uh then the movies coming out. After the movies came out. I, I don't think I really ever went back to the place. I can see yeah. that. Because, I mean, it, it's kind of like uh, <laughs> it still blows my mind that they married. Yeah. No, um, it's it's just like, like when he was doing the plays up to a certain point until he did the movie, the movies, it was kind of like, well, shoot, what, we, we don't even watch the plays no more. <laughs> we like, okay, well, what's the next Tyler Perry movie? Like, and then, but then you start comparing though. You like that didn't happen in the play. Like, I don't think I was I was a, a kid, so I don't think I did that. I think it was just more so the movie was like what I had access to. Because as a kid, I went to the movies every weekend, pretty much. That was mm-hmm. like all right. That was our my parents like get out the house like that was our that was our thing we got pushed to the movies every weekend so I don't think that and I think that first Tyler Perry movie came out if I'm not mistaken I want to say maybe like 2005 that uh, Diary of a Mad Black Woman I want to say which is definitely going to be an S for me. Yeah, no, it's the first film. Before we start, before we get into the the wheelings and dealings, yes, what, what are we what are we rating these movies on? Okay, so we're gonna yeah. base this on the Tyler Perry universe. So, TPU. I think I think the rating should be based on quality of the movie. The that first in, movie ain't no S tier. Well, without it, none of this would have been possible. That's why I got it. Eli that. said definitely an A. Yeah, I was. I will put it in A too because it's a classic, but it, it ain't his best work. I feel like S we is all know. We all know who can be the S. We all can agree on this S. Well, we no. Let's it. let's start. Let's just get into it. Let's get okay. Into okay. It. All right. Go ahead and start. Uh, I can't see. So let's see. I can't oh, thank see. you. Um. Okay, let's do the ones that's older first versus the new ones. All right, Diary of Mad Black Woman. That's the first one. That's Diary. A. We can do that A. That's an A. I got it for S, but y'all beat me, so it's an A. Um. 
Let me see. What else came out for that? Family reunion? Should be the next one. I think. Uh, I think so. Yeah, family reunion, yeah. Family reunion gotta be an A because on it's quality wise, it's on the same level of diary of a mad black woman, but family reunion got some heavy, heavy hitting parts on it. But I, I say I say put it in A. Hmm. Cause it's quality wise, it's it's really no better quality wise. I'm going to say B. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. B. B? It's good. For the grip grip ball? I'd rather watch the play. I think the play was a little bit better than the movie. I don't think I remember Family Reunion play. Yeah. Yeah, Eli said B. So we all on the same page. It's good, though. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Well, it's not bad. What's the next one? Um, let me see. Uh, Daddy's little girl. Ooh. Daddy's little girl gotta be C or D. <sighs> let me see. Cause Daddy's little girl. Yeah, this movie started the Tyler Perry. Uh, what's the word? Stereotype. The light skinned hero, the dark skinned villain. Light skinned Daddy, hero. Daddy's little girl was a uh, Jew. Who was? You know, I wait. never make a fool of you. That gotta be a D just for that. <laughs> no. Just for. Oh, Julia, oh you're talking you about the Julia. Julia. I never make a fool. <laughs> that gotta go in D. Light skin hero. <laughs> they did. Oh, wait, but who was? But wait, who was the hero though? Not that it might not, not like necessarily that one. Be this movie. But no, that was Diary. Yeah, that was the first one. They yeah, that hardcore, started it. My bad, my bad. With the raggedy ass. Yo, Shannon, what up, bro? That's the homie Shannon. Uh, he's my cat. He was my castmate. Well, we're castmates rather. That's my boy. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but daddy's little girls. <sighs> it's a C. Right? I mean, because it's like it's a story about a single father trying to raise three girls, the mama crazy with this with the thuggish boyfriend. And those stereotypes were crazy bad. <laughs> I'm sure it was, it was. Those were crazy stereotypes. <laughs> the dad made a mistake. Had a yeah. allegation. Yep. When he had a has a record a and that's a D. What you think, uh, Daryl? <laughs> I mean, after hearing that, initially I was gonna be like, <laughs> "Eli's stupid." <laughs> the movie made me sick. <laughs> I thought I was gonna be like B at first, but after hearing that, and now I'm, I haven't seen this movie in a minute, but now since I'm like remembering. The dad wasn't that great of a character. Mm. It was just Idris Elba. Uh, that, it was just a look. Yeah, yeah. It no. And, it's and not to mention them girls. Them girls had some smart mouths on. The girls were the <laughs> best part. Besides, I mean, they were funny. They were funny. It was just they they had some smart mouths on them. I ain't gonna cap. Besides Gabrielle see. Union, but when has Gabrielle see. Union ever given a bad performance? I well, never really thought of it like that. It's just I, it's I never the seen her writing do some is bad. bad. Yeah. The writing's I, awful. The stereotypes are awful. It's a D. Do you really think it's a stereotype though? Because a single father, that's very rare. The, the drug dealer, the drug Why does single father gotta have a mistake? The single father having a mistake, the drug dealer, um, New boyfriend was wild. The uh, yeah, that's true. That did yeah, happen in the- but, but yeah, he whooped them. And I think wasn't it the stepdad trying to holler at the older one or trying to work the older one or something I like think that? He was trying to make her work. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 
Yeah. Now that was now that's creepy on oh, oh, super super creepy. The I think the the writing of the characters were just very very bad, <laughs> very awful. And who's seen Daddy's say, Little Girls since the year two thousand six? It's not a good. It's a D. It's a D movie. Oh, two thousand seven. Yeah. What's the next one? Uh, why did I get married? That's S tier. That's the first one, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes, first one, yeah. The first one is S tier. I def I definitely like that one. It had a lot of comedy in it. Each couple had their own separate drama and them coming together be crazy. I I think well, it definitely is one of his I think better. it's I think it's an S too. It's a very yeah. high point. Yeah, Cause it's, who, it's cause who would have known? Who would have known that? Well, one, I thought it was crazy. Jill Scott wore a whole fat suit, and then two, who would have known that her character would bust old boy in the back of the head? <laughs> the truth what a, what a bottle. That's funny. Nah, it's an S. That's it's an S. That's the S tier. Yeah. Great movie. Definitely. Like so the next one is Meet the Browns. I don't actually. I don't think I've seen this one. I have. It's uh, yeah. I don't think I've seen this one. I I've think... seen the TV show. I ain't seen the movie though. But I, I seen the like I seen the play one, in the. I think I was over Tyler. Like I was over. Oh, oh like... at this point, yeah, I understand. So I don't know. That one, do we have a never seen it tier? Oh, we do need one. Yeah, F could be never seen. Yeah, never seen or no opinion. <laughs> New. <laughs> I'm trying to discredit the, the Meet the Brand fa fans out here. I've never <laughs> seen it. So. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. The next one is The Family That Prays. S tier. Ooh, that's an S, brother. S <laughs> that's an S. Yeah, so I haven't that's really seen it. I haven't really seen it all the way through. Yeah. Nah, that's a... The I Family like... That Prays, I will argue that that is Tyler Perry's uh, best work. It's the best dramatic acting, I think, in any Tyler Perry movie. Wait, help me find the thumbnail. Which Where is it at? Oh, the family that prays. Oh, it I is. Oh, it's the bottom one. The bottom one. Bottom. Last there one. You go. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I don't be watching Tyler Perry. <laughs> I'm gonna okay. be dead ass. I don't. I've seen what Big Mom. The uh, the family <laughs> meeting. Yes. Like Big Mama. Yeah, like damn, I'll be watching <laughs> that shit, bro. I'm sorry. Like Big Listen, Mama. I watched like. Half of these. Yeah. Once I've we seen, get into the I've ones I don't know, them. I'm gonna be yeah. a lot of never scenes. Yeah, um, it's a it's a few of them I haven't seen. Which, <laughs> where, where, are we, where are we putting this? S, yes, bro. Yes, yes, okay. yes. It's the best, yes, it's yes. the best dramatic actor Tyler got. Yeah, yeah that's Eli, that's Eli, the best Eli said Eli said, Yeah, best work. I agree with you, sis. Yes, that's the best work. Um, so I actually have to go watch that one then. Yeah, yeah, I think you would enjoy it. Y'all never seen Meet the Browns with Rick Fox? I think that's no. how Angela Bassett. That's, in the yeah, show, that's the Rick. I've never yeah. seen it. I seen it, but eh. don't I got Angela Bassett? I didn't think it was all that good. I've never seen it. I would have put it in like D with these little girls. Well, move it um, here if you're the only one that seen it. Um. Yeah. After that is Medea goes to jail. That was like the C or a D. That's when it got annoying for me. Yeah, I remember that, and I remember it had um the dude from Antoine Fisher. Oh yeah, that is that one. It had Derek. That was the but one that, was... that every everybody made fun of him because the way he was crying. Oh yeah, he was bad. <laughs> but it had uh, it had that Sophia Vergara too. It had um, Sophia Vergara in it. Oh yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, she was the, uh, the girlfriend. A D. Uh, I give it a I give it a, a high D. I'm gonna give it a C. I could go with C. You can go with C again. Okay. I could go with C. 
<laughs> Elastic. <laughs> um, after that is I can do battle by myself. Oh yeah, That's bro. Sophia, also Sophia a won. CRD. I think it's really hard to uh, a Taraji P Henson vehicle is is really hard to mess up, and I think he. It's it's on the lower half, man, because she just wasn't enjoyable to watch in that movie. So it's got to be on the bottom, and it had Delco from CSI. I can't. What's his real name? Adam Rodriguez. It had him um, what you think? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, never seen. I saw the trailer, and I was very uninterested. And that's um, the, the little boy where he'd be like, "My bed, my yeah. bed." My bed. Yeah. Um, I give it, I give it a D. It's a C or D. Well, C, C. I give it a C. It, it was okay. It was all right. I would only be giving it a C because, well, no, I give it a D because I don't. It's not even Taraji's. If some, if somebody said watch Taraji Henson movies, like I would skip over that one. So I, mm -hmm. I would say D. Um, the next one is. Why did I get married to? You know where that goes. I would say that's a B. The second one was trash. A B? I was gonna say A. Really? I think it's B. I don't know. I'll give it a B because it's just like S Eli. No, nope. it's a strong C. This is the second film, bro. This is the second one, not the no. first one. The second one. I think it's a B because what? I think it's a B because I think writing wise, like, uh, this is our second time that like we visit these characters, and I think he took a lot of uh, cop outs. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> late, right? <laughs> late, <laughs> but uh, um, why did I get married? It's to? a strong sequel. I think it's a strong sequel, but I don't Solid. think it's, it's very good. No. Nah. No. Nah. What's the grade scale? So we got S, A, B, C, D, F, and then never seen. So with uh, why did I get married to? Um, I thought it was just too much going on. I think the pacing was kind of rough. I agree. I think, like, the first movie is very much, like, Sheila and Mike's story. And then the second movie is very much Gavin and Patricia's story. Yeah. And yeah. I, just, I think the Sheila and Mike story was just, it was a better... It was better to play on that. Yeah, it was better to play on that. Um, This one, eh... Because with That's Gavin and Patricia, memorable. yeah, because Gavin and Patricia, Patricia was just, she was just going crazy. And this is around the same time that um, Michael Her Jackson died. Yeah. yeah. So she she had that emotional breakdown with the throwing the glass and stuff. I was like, yeah, get it out, sis. Go ahead. It just, it just wasn't as memorable as that first one. No, nah, now nah, the first one was, now if they make the second one, just as good, then I I would have put it in S tier, but totally. Yeah, the second one wasn't as good. Um, the next one is for colored girls. C. <sighs> I seen it going? one time, uh -huh. and I remember Michael Ely throwing them kids out that damn window. Oh, that was horrible. And that's all I can really tell you about it. But I do. <laughs> I do remember it it was well acted. You thought it was a good movie? No. I, no, I thought it was well acted. I thought like all oh, the not, actors, not you. I was reading the comments. I'm sorry. Uh, I thought all the actors did a good job, but is it is <laughs> I don't think it's memorable or Eli said Tyler Perry got a first class ticket to hell for that movie. <laughs> for, for color girls? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's I don't think it was like the only thing I remember is Michael Ely throwing up kids out the window. That and then I remember Whoopi Goldberg's character 
throwing blood. I think it was goat blood or something on her oh, yeah. daughter. What oh, paper yeah. color girl? So you doing the business? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's for, a classic meme right there. It could go and see yeah. for the for the memes alone. It could go yeah, and see. see. Um, the next one is Medea's Big Happy Family. I think I've only seen, seen pieces of this one. That's the one with Bow Wow in there, right? Yeah, that's the one with Byron. That's Tiana, Tiana Taylor. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> oh, got HIV? oh, brother. I oh, yeah, that's right. She did it in that in Why Did I Get Married too. That was crazy. Ghost. Ghost gave her that that package. Yeah. But uh my Medea's big happy family. I've never I've never seen it. I've only seen clips. So I've I seen it. Say. I've seen it and uh, like like kind of like uh um why did I get married too? It was everywhere. So, so it being that serious. Don't the only thing that really saved it was the the Tiana Taylor. The I've, never, next, I've never seen it, so I can't say. Uh, the next one, uh, I, I think it's on there. Good deeds. I seen that. I think I went to the movies to see that. And I don't remember. I know he was a lawyer. And that's all I remember. D, what you got? I didn't see this one. Because it had uh, it the trailer had him like be serious and he like a lawyer, but he's not a good serious I don't know. Nah. I just didn't see it. Nah. I think I think this was the movie. Shawana or Eli see this one? Because I think this is the movie where he was a, a lawyer. Oh, yeah. He falls for a cleaning lady. He's this big, wealthy CEO. He falls for a cleaning lady. Because I think he... To put it in D. Yeah. Put that thing in D. That's That's that plot is D. trash. <laughs> Uh, the next one is Medea's Witness Protection. Uh, let me say, I don't think I've probably seen the rest of these. I can't see them up there, but I haven't seen Medea's Witness Protection. Never seen it. Don't Witness know. Protection. Uh, I thought it was whack. So definitely uh, F. All right, Cody, you got that. Uh, the next one. What's the next one? Temptation. Confession. Oh, I didn't see Temptation. That's a F. D, come on, y'all. Y'all doing my boy. Not, not, look, listen. We got to we gotta do something like that, man, because some of this stuff is trash, bro. Temptation yeah. is a F. Temptation? I a big fat F. Tell me who's the lead. Journey Woman. Smollett. Jer yeah, Journey Smollett. Where she got a good loving boyfriend at home. She fought for this man who ended up giving her age. Oh, husband. And Brandy is in it. Brandy. You think Temptation is an, an S, Eli? What? Oh, F. F. Oh, thank you. F. It's an F. It's it's another light skin versus dark skin characters. It's Pretty another uh, the Cause main she, cause character. Because she ended up getting uh, yeah, she ended up okay. getting uh, <laughs> HIV. Hey, I'm all for F. The people say F, F, F. It's an F. 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 Boo. <laughs> and I love Boo Jersey. That man. Boo. Um, the next one is a Medea Christmas. Never seen it. I um, uh, I kind of did, so see, yeah. You can remove uh, Eli's comment if you will. A C for Christmas cheer. Um, the next one is the Single Moms Club. Never the seen what? it. 
Single Moms Club. That's the one with the ladies, Will. I've never even heard oh, of it. I did not see that. <laughs> I did. I would. I would never go see that. What? I've never I even seen heard of it. it. I seen it. It's like a uh prequel Why? to to uh his series. What's it called? I uh. Um, oh, me and me? Yeah. Um. It has. Oh, it the, has the government workers and stuff. First wives. Mm. First no. wives. Club? No. Single, what's it called again? It's it's called Single Moms Club. Oh. Oh, if loving you was wrong, thank you. Woo. I've never even yeah, heard of this stuff. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry. Tyler be working. He do. That boy um, be the next one is Medea's Tough Love. When did that come out? I don't know these movies. I don't know these movies. <laughs> I don't know these movies. That's an animated that. one. That was. That was you make an animated crazy. movies? He did. Oh, that was wow. whack. So but if y'all ain't seen it, then it can go and never see it. It's cool. Um I don't think I've seen any of the rest of them. The next one is Boo, a Medea Halloween. I've never seen it. I would never turn that on. I seen <laughs> it. I seen it. Uh yeah, it's an F. Cause the only funny part was when he called the pastor and made him speak in tongues <laughs> on the phone, but that was about it. Everything else was kind of like predictable. I've never seen the that. next, the next one is Boo Two, a Medea Halloween. Oh, they just uh, made two of them. <laughs> I, if I ain't seen the first one, I damn sure ain't seen the second. <laughs> <I ain't seen laughs> <the second. laughs> Sorry. Yeah, you put that in F. Boo 2 was the uh, left corner, yeah. Um, Why did you make these? <laughs> the next one is Acrimony. Now, I did see Acrimony. That's going in the same tier that uh, the other one was in, that I could do better by myself. Um, Wait, uh, which one? That's the one with Taraji. Got it in the chair. Yeah, I like um, it. Yours cool. Yeah, it was pretty cool. I'll give it a B. I'm cool a with B? that. Yeah, B. I think Acrimony has the same script problems as Temptation. Eli said A. I think it. Uh, I don't. I just don't think it's great writing or directing, but. I mean, I don't I think think it's it's, yeah, it's it's like because because this movie is it can stay in B, but the the movie itself, um, people's can people still kind of talk about it. Like anytime this movie is brought up, they be like, "Oh well, shoot, I think you know the ex husband was in the right, or Taraji was in the right, or so they go back and forth about." this um the next one let me see a Medea family funeral <laughs> never seen this who died I did nah, that I was but I nah, nah, I'm lying. It's a D. who who died Oh, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I, I jumped the gun. I'm sorry. Nobody's fool. I'm sorry. It was nobody's fool. Oh, nobody's fool. I like uh, nobody's fool. I haven't. I haven't seen it. I will put Me that either. in B or C because I will watch it again. Uh, it got Chris Rock in it. Y'all know I love oh. my Chris Rock. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then after that is the okay. Medea family funeral. The the fact that <laughs> Eli said F for uh a nobody's fool. <laughs> I like nobody's fool. It had a Tiffany Haddish. Oh God. F. <laughs> and, uh, hey. Um a Medea family funeral. So the family funeral one, that one, I give it a D. Same. 
Because the daddy died from. Shay don't even know who died, so it should yeah, be. That's that's the so the so the the, you know the, who died. the daddy who was the grandfather, he died from having sex with a hooker. Who's grandfather? Um, one of the main characters, grandfather, and and they're related to Medea somehow. So oh, so it ain't even yeah, nobody related the main, to Medea. The main core characters. That part. Um, next one is a fall from grace. I feel like I've seen this one, but oh, that's the one with all the bad wigs. <laughs> ah, dang. <laughs> Damn. That's the Netflix from. Remember that one where she. She was getting scammed. <laughs> but I think yeah, so. she by uh Felicia Rashad. She was getting scammed. And Felicia Rashad and her son was yeah. doing all this crazy stuff and put yeah. it on put it on. I'm gonna call her Hannah because I don't know her real name. Yeah, that's but, gotta go to D. Yeah. Y'all said all that just for D. Because yeah. <laughs> the wigs was awful. And they show, um, remember they show somebody drinking out of a cup upside down? One of the extras was drinking out of oh an upside no. down cup. Gotta go the next, for that. <laughs> the next one is a Medea homecoming. I never seen that. I ain't seen that either. Uh I did. That was with it's that was when the uh one of the main characters, the son. Comes back home and visiting the family, and he's scared to come out to his family that he's gay, even though the whole family know that he's gay. Oh, I thought it was really about Beyonce. Oh no, Tyler Perry <laughs> exactly. was making movies. Yeah, the exactly. Point. Yeah, it didn't even sound like, <laughs> like a good plot. So that I'm that gay. we already know. Uh, D for sure. Um, a <laughs> jazz man's blues. Paper? <laughs> a jazz man's blues. Yeah. What the fuck is that, Cody? Yeah, I, I never, never I heard seen of it. it. I haven't seen you it. You supposed to be the Tyler Perry aficionado, and you hey, got watch your mouth. Watch, hey, hey, watch your mouth now. Come on, man. Watch your mouth. And I, I don't know what that what that picture is supposed to represent right there. I don't, I don't. I don't. That just looks like a screenshot. So I think that's pretty much. Is there other ones that he came out with still? The only one he came out. The only one he came out with was, uh, Mea Copa. Oh, the Mea Copa. Yeah, yeah. Thank oh. you, Mea Copa. But that's still new, and I don't really I haven't see seen it. I heard it was bad though. So technically, just these two S tier. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. those should be the only two that I watch, basically. <laughs> that and I, I would say, I would say, give. There's a couple on there that you can give a watch. What's the one where she was like, "I'm driving past the church," and then she drove past the church, and she drove like she lit. She literally just drove past the church in the car. Was that not one of her movies, or one of these movies? Oh. I watched one of these. I feel like, but it was just like very. Peace. In the yeah, black community, know. when Diary of a Mad Black Woman came out, my mother damn near forced us to go watch that movie. She was That's like, what I said to Will. Mm -hmm. We're watching this black movie. This. Yep. Like, you definitely got to check out Diary of a Mad Black Woman and Family Reunion. Like, those are iconic. Definitely check out the S tier. And then, like, I, could, I would check out Acrimony. Yeah, if you like Taraji yeah. P Henson, I would yeah. I would check out Acrimony. And, yeah, uh, for me, for me, uh, I would agree. Like the family that prays, I need to watch that. Um, Why did I get married? You should definitely watch Diary yeah. and Acrimony are decent movies. Family Reunion, I I guess I I would prefer the play of Family Reunion. Mm hmm. Oh, you know what? I have seen a uh, diary of a mad black woman. Mad black. Woman. Everybody yeah. saw that one. That's like the first one. Yeah, that's and the first one. Okay. Yep. That was the one them. everybody was like, "If you black and you ain't go see that one." Okay. Yeah, I have seen that. 
Why did I get married? Uh, I I see now. I've seen parts of that. Okay, I've seen parts of that one. Yep. You got to see what Joe Scott did. Hold me over the head. Oh, me. That's a classic scene. Yeah, that's a classic. I was like, the first time I saw that. Yep. Hit that. Yeah, I said, whoa. And then at the end, when she came out snatched, I said, yes, Lord. (laughs) <laughs> and shout out to Tasha Smith, bro. What? Come on. Tasha Smith was unhinged back then. Uh, she's uh, in a lot of these movies. Yeah, she she play a good villain. She do. Or or if Tasha she's or even if the or even if staring. Oh, or goodness, even if she's not a even if she's not a villain, she's a good like um like that that pest that pestering protagonist. Like that's why you, you like them. Young, you know. <laughs> she said what? Yeah, she plays oh, a good. Like, boy boy tried to choke the shit out of her. Oh I man, grandiose kind of Boom. role. Yeah, she's good. She's good. She good. That shit was funny. Yeah. So so do y'all think? With with all these movies that Tyler has made, do y'all think he should continue writing his own or hire some writers? Hire, please. Here's the thing about a black man who was homeless to now damn near billionaire, damn near owner of BT. Like to have done that is is crazy. But to have done that on the backs of you only have two S tier works is even S-tier. crazier to think about. <laughs> and then not to mention, you know, you 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 done some sh- shady, shisty stuff via Monique. Look at Cody about to kick his back at. What do you do, Cody? What do you do? I'm what just saying, she? you know, like I would I'd do? be pissed too with Monique. If if you spread a rumor about me and it costs me ten, tens of millions of dollars, yeah. I'd be pissed too. Yeah, but I'm, I'm about, hard to work with. I think the thing about Tyler Perry is, and and you know, let me bless myself up before I say this. But when you wear that dress too long, like some of them, some of the Medina traits gotta start coming out in in real life because. Why would you gossip about another <laughs> exactly. another woman? Like, <laughs> get, your, get your money up, not your funny up. Like, why would you? Why would you spread that rumor in the first place? Just saying. And and you're not a good black advocate for the black community either. So. No, I think I think Man, what you have done you. is bang, amazing. Bang, bang. And I think that employing like black people on his movie lots. It's crazy and having like a studio to where like white people want to come in and film movies in a black owned studio is amazing. It's great. It's crazy. But like for that person to be Tyler Perry is like oh with shit. only two decent. Now this is the Tyler Perry universe ranking. In real life, if I had to pick like ten movies to watch forever. I promise you, I would never pick a Tyler Perry movie. Yeah, ten movies locked in in a chamber, and you get ten. No. Not a not a Tyler Perry movie. I'm not picking a goddamn single no. Tyler Perry movie. Nope. No. No. But in his universe, those two are his best. Yeah, those two are definitely his best. <laughs> I, I remember one of those movies we did not want to go see. Something else came out that weekend and it was sold out. And everybody was like, oh my god, just give me the Tyler Perry. And then it actually <laughs> was good. <laughs> and it oh, actually just... was good. And I think that was... That's sick. I think just that was the family that prays. You know what? Oh. And honestly, I would rather watch his in the Tyler Perry theatrical universe... I would rather watch his plays like uh, Diary, well, not Diary. Um, what is that? Family Reunion, Class Reunion. I guess, I guess you could say uh, I can do battle by myself in Diary. I would, I would rather watch the play versus the movie. 
I do like Cheryl Pepsi Riley. Cheryl Pepsi Riley, I promise you, she's in like everyone. <laughs> yeah, every play. For real. I do like Cheryl Pepsi Riley. I'm not going to hold you. I do like her. Like between Tamala Man, David Man, and Cheryl Pepsi, those are like the main three. Yeah, that'd be Tell all of the joints. Yeah. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. We black, y'all. That was the blackest episode we ever had. That's what's up. That was a black ass episode. That was a black ass episode. <laughs> <laughs> we can keep that going, though. It was fun. <laughs>